Hello everybody, I'm not in focus. As you can tell, no one's home because I'm out vlogging, not in my room or my car. Um, but it's a warm-ish day today, it's not too bad. A little update in my eyelashes, so I think we're like three left on this side. Which you can't see, but all the eyelashes have dropped off on this side and today would be day 22. So, I mean she said it's going to last three weeks. It really only lasted like a week, like properly for me to say like, yeah, I have lashes because I fell off pretty quickly after that. Um, anyway, just headed out to get dumplings with Tracy. My shoulder really hurts. It's been hurting for the last two days now. Like I've pinched a nerve in it, but I really don't want to go to doctors. Anyway, I caught up with her last Thursday for Valentine's Day. We're going to go to Waterford because I wanted to go to Yang's Dumplings. I didn't realise that they're closed for two hours between three and five so that they can take a break. And they open again for dinner afterwards. Um, I didn't want to wait around. But we ended up leaving Waterford at five anyway. But then um, we would have been there for another hour, hour and a half to eat. And I didn't want to. So we are going to go for lunch today because Tracy doesn't work on Tuesdays. Um, but yeah, also one of my nails has fallen off and I, I'm at that point where as soon as my nail falls off, I want to peel all of them off because it looks really bad and um, I won't be getting them redone because it turns out I'm allergic to monomer. So yeah, but yesterday, I probably should go soon because I will be late again. Um, yesterday I bought these, look, they're the unicorn slices. Um, they're just normal Mr. Kipling angel cakes <laughs> they're made just in different colors but yeah i'm gonna take one because i haven't eaten all day um so that i'm not gonna be super hungry when i get there like, i want to be hungry but oh, i don't want to be starving to the point where yeah anyway i'm gonna go there is something in my car that i do want to vlog so let me get my stuff together and obviously next time you see me i'll be in my car so this is what I wanted to vlog. My ladybug moved and I have no idea how or why. Um, I noticed that when I was on the way home from work, but um, with my white uniform, I didn't want to vlog myself. But I just got this, which obviously like, you know, everyone knows what it is, but um, I don't remember buying anything online. Trippy. It was a fat band, I haven't bought from them in a while. I haven't bought anything off of ASOS or anything. Did someone buy something under my name? I guess we'll find out tomorrow because um, I thought that it had been delivered yesterday and no one checked mail but it says to pick up after 4pm today. And I'm not going. I'm not coming back here after going out. So we'll find out tomorrow what it is. It's hot Mac. I'm so glad I thought about this. I thought it's a play suit. It's a dress. It's a cute length for a play suit. It's a little bit short for a dress for my liking anyway. But let's go or I'm really going to be late. And just like that, four hours has passed. Um, four hours, four hours since I've vlogged, I think. Um, yeah, really good catch up with Tracy. Even though I've seen her three, four times, I think, in the last week. <laughs> it's been crazy because I haven't seen her in so long. Um, our work schedules kind of miss each other but yeah so we had some dumplings let's see if I can insert some photos afterwards because I forgot to take my vlogging camera out while we were there but yeah I had some dumplings had noodles I've got a huge bowl of leftovers because we ordered a bit too much um, and then we walked around a bit because I was feeling like having bubble tea but I was a bit full <laughs> I mean we were both full and Tracy had never tried bubble tea before so she tried it for the first time and no idea why but same fits my ladybug um when i went to go order like the menu is really high we went to char time um something is tickling the back of my throat and yeah it itched like crazy <sighs> but i'm really full really badly need to pee because that was a lot of liquid today um is this thing cold yes it is What's that? oh yeah something else going to vlog um so i'm upstairs in the shaded area We'll see how all these cars are in the shade. And all these cars in the shade. I, oh, that's really close. Back in the one spot where there is no opposite canvas. It looks like it's actually missing. Good job, Amanda. Idiot. It's really hot, my car. <laughs> this is the only spot that has no canvas across from it. 
That's really annoying. How did I manage that? Anyway, I am going to go because apparently there's automatic recognition in use and yeah, Brendan's going to be home soon. So, um, this is the star, Crystal, got him Super Mario Party or Mario Party. I don't know. I don't really know the game names of these games um, for his birthday. So, we were playing that till quite late the other day. So, and I think we're going to... Well, I want to play it again because it had to get cut short on Sunday because I had work early on Monday, which I do have work early again tomorrow, but that's besides the point. It's only for three hours. Um, but hopefully, fingers crossed, I get to see Tara tomorrow. So that's fun. But gonna go because, as I said, my blood is very full. TMI, but yes. And I think at this time of the day, the traffic is gonna be quite bad coming up to Carousel. So let's go. quick workout in there five trellis um yeah it was literally quick i'm starting the body boss method again so yeah <laughs> whether or not i continue it for the rest of the week is another issue and I totally need to wash my hair tonight um i have leftover noodles and dumplings from lunch for dinner but i want to curry for whatever reason but he's outside doing a workout now so i probably should get dinner started and um, i don't know if i'm gonna vlog us playing Super Mario or is it Mario Party? Whatever it's called. But that's pretty much then about eight. Until tomorrow I'm hopefully catching up with Tara. Hello everybody. I'm on my way out to Tara. I probably won't vlog so I don't really know why I'm vlogging this. Maybe because I may exercise later and I kind of want to what's the word? Use this as oh what's the word? Walls I pulled some of my nails off. I've got two left on each hand. I've got one left on this one. Oh, why did I pull this one off? Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know if it's a good or bad thing because obviously it means I can do things, but it also means that I'm going to scratch like crazy and actually be able to scratch it now. But um, um, I have had them on for three weeks, so I've had a good run. But like, look at how much of my actual nail is showing so yeah I'm like it's a bit time for him to come off anyway I mean so one of them fell off my sleep the other day and that's, that's when I had to start getting him off I think it was yesterday um anyway I can't think of what the word is accountable if I where if when whatever I exercise because I'm talking about now it's going to hold me accountable hopefully fingers crossed because I'm today is day two <laughs> so but it is quite warm because I'm doing the body bus method um and that is where you, they you do on and off actual workouts um and cardio and today's cardio so I've got to do a half hour a brisk walk is what the book says so maybe when it's cooler so Sparky's feet doesn't burn we can take him for a walk but I'm gonna go now because I, I was supposed to be at Tara's at 12 30. <laughs> it's past 12 30 now so let's go so I hung out with Tara for a couple hours just left her it's probably about half an hour ago and we talked about bubble tea so I'm craving it so I went and got tea for <laughs> um yeah and then I got Tara to stuff for dinner and stuff so I just headed to Brendan's. Oh, there is a lot of rubbish in my car. People are looking at me. I'm gonna go. Hello everybody. Just had it out real quick. I don't normally vlog on this day because I work. Um, but I managed to get an earlier shift so that's why I'm done now. But me and Brendan, tomorrow's Brendan's 29th birthday. Um, and our 10 year anniversary is on Monday. So we're doing a little staycation at Pan Pacific. So obviously got to get a couple boots and bulbs. We don't have a bath tub we can use. So I really want to go to Lush and grab some bath bombs. Oh, I actually need to get loofahs and Epsom salts because Brendan's having muscle pains lately. Not like cramps or anything, but just like really tense muscles. So he wants to have an Epsom salt bath and obviously he doesn't really have a bath tub at home. So we're going to do that at the hotel. Um, and then we're doing dinner at the hotel which i didn't realize like last time we stayed there we didn't book it um the guys at brendan worked with the border as like an engagement present for us 
Um, and it was really nice, but you can add on dinner for like 40 bucks and it's buffet dinner. So we have a buffet dinner tomorrow night. So we're checking about, checking this from two or three, I think, where Brendan's got work. So we won't be checking till just after four. Um, and then dinner's at six where it's buffet. And then we've got another buffet breakfast the next day. But I've managed to get a late checkout. And last time we took the train in, but this time because Brendan's got work, um, I'm just gonna swing through A and pick him up. Luckily, the room we've got has complimentary self-parking. So I think I prefer the self-parking over valet. Like valet is so special. My car is messy. And yeah, I just, you, hey, how do you know if someone's gonna ding your car or not? So, but yeah, it's, it's booked in like to the room price. So that's really good. But I'm gonna go before my dad's home and yells at me if we're going shopping. So I'll see you guys later on. So I'm feeling a little bit tired to the point apparently where I met Carrot so I just wanted to park in the multi-story because it, obviously it's shown it's cooler. I drove past the entrance. Uh, I think I need to have a nap. I wish I was asleep by the way here. Yeah. I'm back now and I wish I'd vlogged my car because, well I was at Carousel. I was going to vlog real quickly when I got home but my dad was outside. So I've grabbed quite a few pieces. I will go through them afterwards because I'm about to have dinner. I'm so hungry. Um, bath bombs for the weekend. The chick said she was going to be samples. And then she didn't give me any samples. I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm gonna let it go. <laughs> but yeah, yes, I will go through it afterwards. The main reason why I turned my camera on was I bought this. So it's soju with essentially yakult, or I mean, they call it yogurt flavored soju. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna drink it with dinner. So I had to look at now. Oh, it was just be an empty bottle. Um, what was the reason? Oh, yeah. I got carded because I got it from I've never seen it at like a bottle though bottle shop it came out super Aussie oh there's hair on my leg um I got it from the Korean Mart in Carousel near Coles and you have to pay at a different counter and then the lady carded me so luckily I've moved my ID in the back of my phone for easy access in situations like that so she hands it back to me she goes oh you look very young I'm like thank you I'm like, I'm 30 next year, but thanks. But yeah, go and have dinner. Super hungry. Go and drink my soju. Can share it with my dad, though, I think. So, yeah. So full from dinner now. Maybe a little bit tipsy. <laughs> but let's do a little quick rundown of what I bought. I apologize for the camera is shaky. Should I put a. No, I'm not going to put a tripod up. I'm going to be super quick about it. So firstly, I've given up a hope of finding this white linen shirt from Kmart. Fingers crossed I do bring it back in stock because it was really nice. <coughs> from what I saw in pictures. But I found a makeshift one from Tempt. So this one cost me 20 I believe the one from Kmart cost 15 So, or 17 I think. <coughs> so it cost me a little bit extra, but it's got three quarter sleeves as opposed to the full length ones. But I still will fold them up just because I don't like the length that it was at. Okay, I also got another blazer. I probably didn't need it and I'm contemplating on returning it because I possibly don't need one because it looks very similar to the one I got from Dotty, except Dotty had uh, purple lines. <coughs> I think I've, I've got alcohol stuck in my throat. And this one has brown ones. So this one was $27 from Kmart. I'm doing a terrible job of showing what all the things look like because I'm sitting down in my bed. It's really hot in my room as well. Anyway, I'm wearing these shorts. Oh, don't mind the mess down there. Oh, that was an eyesore. Um, so, <clears throat> the whole reason why I wanted the linen shirt is because they go with these shorts. That's the, I think her name is Louise Sabrina or something. That's her Instagram handle. Anyway. This is the black version, but the material is a little bit different, and that does bother me a little bit. This style is the same though, it's collots, which, let's be honest, I've mentioned collots so many times. Look at my nails. <laughs> I've mentioned collots so many times in my vlogs. I normally wear the three quarter ones because they're amazing, but it's hot, so I'm happy that we've got like this summer version. I mean, collots are kind of like summer pets anyway. Okay, next up. Oh, that's, I'm going to have to unwrap that one so that'll be last. I got 
the i called this the papa rich mask before when i was talking to the girls at lush i meant papa recipe so these are my all-time favorites um these are a fairly recent favorite i was in last six months um <clears throat> i've talked about them before i have a box at the granny flat and i was talking about individual ones because I don't know how fast I'm talking because me and Brendan are going to Pan Pacific tomorrow I thought it would be nice to have like a relax session and do masks and stuff so it's the only individual ones and another one for my dad tonight because my dad FYI loves sheet masks so I thought I'd buy the box to save myself a little bit of money because my dad doesn't buy his own I buy them um, I'm not going to show you the bath bombs because I'm not going to open them but I got the sex bomb one because I always forget that's the one that has the rose petals. I was thinking it's something else. So I just asked them <laughs> which one's one of the rose petals. So I got that one. Um, and I also got the Sakura because that one smells so good. Um, what else did I get? Oh yeah. So I want to bring the PQ the label play Dorothy play suit I got. Because we're going to dinner tomorrow night. Brendan's suggesting kind of fancy-ish. So do I have his stuff actually? Hmm, I should look. Um, so I wanted to, yeah, I'm not going to show this to you though. Oh, sure. Yeah, it's just a bralette to go under the play suit. Um, I don't know why I bought it, but I have a spare one now anyway. I should keep my receipts because I spent so much money today. I don't know how much money I spent because I was going to every single store and buying stuff. So then I had a... I had a ten dollar voucher, so I used it because that's how much a bralette costs. And then I ended up picking up these crunchies anyway, which, by the way, I lost my one, and I don't know where. I remember having it in Kmart. I came home, I wanted to go tie my hair up, and I was like, "Oh, my scrunchie's not there." So someone's got it now. It's just, the scrunchie was starting to get a stench anyway, like sweat smell. So I don't. I wish I hadn't picked these ones. These ones aren't very nice. These ones are way cuter. Whatever. I also got this top from Ellie because I wanted to actually wear this underneath the play suit. So I'm undecided. Oh, so I've got one of each. Oh, but this one is super cute. This one is also a play suit. <laughs> it is a, do you call it a pantsuit? If it's that full length, but it's got pockets and it's so cute. I might bring that as well just as a i could wear it i've got my pink lace that i also brought from kmart a couple of weeks ago before they came out with a checkered one so they could be paired together i will probably bring oh, i'll probably bring my gray heels because they go with everything um and then this is what took me so long today i ended up going to daiso because of where i parked wrongly excuse me and i can't remember what else i needed i remember i needed loofers <coughs> Because we are in, uh, we're at the t time where we need to change our loofers, so got that. Then I also bought these grape strap lollies. I don't know, they look cool. And I want to try this melon jelly, so I've got to put that in the fridge. And I also bought this because have you seen this corner here? I've got lipsticks on there, <coughs> so the lipsticks will stay there. The cookie, the <coughs> oh my god, the container with the gingerbread cookies will go. And be replaced with that tiny container. But, okay, let me unwrap it. And then I'll come back. <laughs> okay, so. The last things I bought were from T2. So they came out with a new matcha range. And it tastes amazing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it the same way. Because chances are I'm not. Anyway, I went with the. Because I'm one of their society members. So I get the emails and stuff. But I decided to go with the Matcha Berry Ripple. I do have the original, which if I'm being honest, I've never used because I, the whisk in the bowl is so expensive. The lady there was trying to sell me on that. She's like, oh, we have one on sale for $50. I was like, oh my God. I didn't even ask how much the whisk was. So instead I just bought the flask and I'm a bit confused about how to use it, but there is instructions on the back. Apparently you just add the matcha in, add the water, shake it up cause I'm not going to open it, I can't bother. The, <laughs> when you open it up, there's a whisk inside. So when you shake it, it acts as whisking it. And then you just add your milk and honey or whatever. So there's that. And then I got the little scoop so I could get the right amount of matcha out of my container. But that's all I bought. But now my bed is a mess. I'm in the middle of watching the Umbrella Academy up to episode 4 at the moment. Uh, but yeah. And now 
Brennan's just messaged me saying he doesn't have work tomorrow, so <sighs> that's fine. I don't know what we're going to do, but I don't think I'm going to be doing much more than the night. I think I'm going to be editing, watching a bit of Umbrella Academy, um, and packing. I mean, we're only going for one night, but yeah. So I will see you guys when we're going to the hotel tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday. It's Brendan's birthday today, and it's also the day we're going to Pan Pacific. Um, just headed out to get him some Epsom salt because he told me not to worry about it, but I think I really do want to get them for him because it will help his muscles relax for a bit. Um, but I decided to wear jeans today, like jeggings, only because I have this fear that whenever I go to a hotel that I should dress a little better. I mean, I'm pretty much dressed the way I normally am, but rather than being in shorts, like I normally would on a day like today, because it's hot as. But, yeah, um, and Brendan doesn't have work today, so I was like, okay, so we'll take the train in. But the trains aren't working today, so. <laughs> um, luckily though, because I have like a backpack plus my, what I normally use for my carry-on. So, let's go. We are here. Different room shot we had last time. Smaller, right? Yeah, slightly. Brandon's uncomfortable in his clothes, so he's stripping. <laughs> more something more comfortable. <laughs> Let's give a little room tour. So this is the door. So it's kind of similar to the room we had last time, but kind of back to front. So then you have, I want to figure out where the light switches are. There we go. The bathroom. Step up. So you have the toilet. The toiletries that I will probably be taking home. And then here's the shower. This is why we love it because it's like Japanese style. That's Brendan. <laughs> um, but yeah, so from the bathtub, you can see the TV, which is cool. Towels. Um, oh yeah, there is a washing line in here like there was last time go back out it's hell echoey in there then there's the wardrobe see if there's anything in it so you have your normal robes and shoes then there's no mini bar in here oh where oh so you've got the safe hair dryer brush some more storage shut that in a second oh some storage there's the bed there's the bathroom oh I left the light on it's quite small only because I'm comparing to what we had last time but here's the view it's not as good as I felt comparing it to last time last time we had a bit of this one river in it so I could time lapse it a little but that was before I vlogged and my camera battery is flashing, so let me change it and I'll be back. So just one last thing before we relax, before dinner. Dinner's for six. Um, the room comes with the complimentary late checkout, parking, and wine apparently. So Brent doesn't drink, but I do, and like the lady rang the doorbell and we were a little surprised. I never know what this is, I've never even heard of it. But let's save that for later. <laughs> and we got this. Shall we open it? You can. It's a chocolate. We never got this last time. No. Can you help? It is Ooh, chocolate. chocolate. There's three pieces and two of us. Who will win? Hey, it's not focusing. It's melting as well. Okay. Is it nice? It's okay. Cool. We're gonna relax now. Okay. Oh, it's fuzzy. I'm gonna go for something to cook on my teeth. Okay. Mmm. 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 Good job. I was too scared to do it. <laughs> 
it is a quarter past seven and I'm going back from dinner. Dinner was booked for six. Um, I booked it through the room when I made the reservation for the room. So um, I couldn't pick what time we had it. But six o'clock was good because we also have buffet breakfast tomorrow morning. So, I mean, it's better to have a bigger gap. And I I'm pretty sure the breakfast is at eight. So it's about a 12 hour gap, so that's good. But yeah. <coughs> Anyway, we have Brandon has this thing where he wants to make the most of a room. So we're pretty much gonna be hanging in here for the rest of the night. Um we did bring the switch. Um unfortunately, like we brought the HDMI cable and everything, but you can't actually connect it to the TV, so we're just playing it on the little screen. But Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is on tonight, so that's what we're watching. But this is where Brandon is and he's um doesn't mind just doing low-key stuff so yeah and it's just nice to kind of relax but we're on a king-size bed um and the pillows are super soft um i feel like there's something else i was gonna vlog but i can't remember what it was i obviously didn't bring my camera to dinner so hopefully i'll be able to insert them into the next clip as like a montage um but yeah that's it for tonight until tomorrow where we're leaving but i've opted for the late checkout so that's at 4 p.m so yes oh that's i think that thing was when we were parking i ended up doing a loop because when i put it into google maps it told me the parking was across the street but that across the street is in novotel i don't know where across i think it's that way we've got a different room job we had last time and where we could see the novotel <coughs> Um, so yeah, but, <laughs> so, Bay Pacific parking is right next to it, because it's up on a hill, the top floor, which is where I'm not parking, is actually the lobby of the hotel, so that works out really good, and that means when we exit, we just walk across the street, but that means when in my car, I have to go down, like, six levels, but yeah, that's it, feeling kind of tired, I think, because I ate too much, <laughs> So we're going to relax, watch a movie, play some games, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's the end. We're about to check out. It's 2 o'clock. We had late checkout for 4, but we have relaxed because we're pretty much going to do the same thing at home anyway. So that's, that's it. That's the end of the weekend. <laughs>